Norfolk Southern's roots could be traced back to pre-Civil War in 1827, when the South Carolina Canal and Railroad Company was founded. The company's original purpose was to transport cotton from the interior of South Carolina to the port of Charleston. Over time, the company expanded its network and began providing service to other cities in the Southeast. In 1894, the Southern Railway Company was formed through the consolidation of several smaller railroads in the region. This move was intended to create a more efficient and profitable network. Over the next few decades, the Southern Railway continued to grow through the acquisition of other railroads, including the Central of Georgia and the Alabama Great Southern. In the 1960s and 70s, the rail industry in the United States began to face serious challenges. The rise of the interstate highway system and the airline industry led to a decline in demand for rail transportation. In response, the Southern Railway began to explore new strategies for staying competitive. One of these strategies was the development of unit trains, which are trains that carry a single commodity, such as coal or grain, from a single origin to a single destination. In 1982, the Southern Railway merged with the Norfolk and Western Railway to form Norfolk Southern Corporation. The new company operated more than 21,000 miles of track in 22 states and had annual revenues of over $4 billion. In the years following the merger, Norfolk Southern continued to expand its network and improve its operations. One of the key initiatives was the implementation of a new computerized dispatching system. This system, known as CTC, or Centralized Traffic Control, allowed Norfolk Southern to more efficiently manage train movements and reduce delays. Another major initiative was the modernization of locomotives and rolling stock. Norfolk Southern invested heavily in new locomotives and freight cars, which helped to improve efficiency and reduce maintenance costs. The company also began to implement new technologies, such as GPS and electronic braking systems, to enhance safety and reliability. During the 1990s and 2000s, Norfolk Southern continued to grow through a series of acquisitions and partnerships. In 1999, the company formed a strategic alliance with CXS Transportation, which allowed the two companies to share track and improve service between the Midwest and Southeast. In 2002, Norfolk Southern acquired a controlling interest in Conrail, a major competitor in the Northeast. This move gave Norfolk Southern access to key markets in the Northeast and expanded its network to more than 35,000 miles. In recent years, Norfolk Southern has continued to focus on innovation and efficiency. The company has implemented new technologies such as Positive Train Control, or PTC, which is a system that uses GPS and wireless communications to automatically stop a train before an accident occurs. Norfolk Southern has also developed a program called Top 21, which is designed to improve safety and reliability by streamlining operations and reducing costs, current operations, and future plans. Today, Norfolk Southern is one of the largest railroads in the United States, with a network that spans 22 states and serves major markets in the Midwest, Southeast, and Northeast. The company operates more than 19,500 locomotives and 63,000 freight cars and employs more than 26,000 people. Norfolk Southern's operations are divided into three major business units, coal, intermodal, and merchandise. The coal unit transports coal from mines to power plants, while the intermodal unit transports containers and trailers on flat cars between rail terminals and other modes of transportation, such as trucks and ships. The merchandise unit handles a wide range of other goods, including automotive parts, chemicals, and agricultural products. Looking to the future, Norfolk Southern has set ambitious goals for itself in terms of sustainability and innovation. The company has pledged to reduce its greenhouse gas emissions by 42% by 2034, compared to its 2019 baseline. To achieve this goal, Norfolk Southern plans to invest in technologies such as locomotive electrification and alternative fuels. In terms of innovation, Norfolk Southern is exploring new ways to use data and artificial intelligence to optimize its operations. The company has developed a program called NS4.0, which is aimed at leveraging digital technologies to improve efficiency, safety, and customer service. Despite their efforts to modernize, Norfolk Southern is not without controversy. On March 2, 2023, a Norfolk Southern train derailed in East Palestine, Ohio, 
causing significant damage to the surrounding area. According to reports, 17 cars of the train carrying hazardous materials, including chemicals and petroleum, derailed and caught fire, leading to a large plume of smoke that could be seen for miles. The derailment occurred near the intersection of North Market Street and West Taggart Street, which led to the closure of several roads in the area. Emergency crews were dispatched to the scene to contain the fire and prevent any potential environmental damage from the hazardous materials. The cause of the derailment is currently under investigation, and the extent of the damage caused by the incident is yet to be fully assessed. But the impact to the local community, both in the short term and the long term, cannot be understated. Ultimately, the history of Norfolk Southern is one of growth, innovation, adaptation, and, at times, controversy. From its origins as a small railroad in South Carolina to its current status as a major player in the U.S. rail industry, Norfolk Southern has continually evolved to meet the changing needs of its customers and the market. With its focus on sustainability and innovation, Norfolk Southern is well-positioned to continue its success in the years ahead.